we will talk on emerging construction technologies and uh, first of the series let us talk let us discuss rcc monolithic construction we know that the factors considered for new and emerging construction technologies include speed economy quality innovation aesthetics environmental consideration or energy efficiency i think speed economy and quality may be considered as primary factors and innovation aesthetics environmental considerations and energy efficiency as secondary uh, factors or secondary parameters uh, <clears throat> though uh, there is no standard definition and anything can be classified as primary but still i feel that speed economy and quality are the main parameters and therefore they may be classified as primary parameters let us talk about the speed first uh, in today's era uh, time is very important and uh, in rcc construction time required in placement and stripping of shuttering is a lot so this time uh, is required to be curtailed then time required in casting of concrete rcc or carrying out brick work is also a lot therefore this also we need to curtail somewhere and then time required in attaining the strength of concrete is also quite large and therefore if we can do something and uh, uh, the strength required strength of the concrete can be achieved Uh, earlier than time can be curtailed and for these three what uh, uh, is being done now is that uh, for shuttering larger members of shuttering are being used or prefab shuttering is being used or stay in place shuttering is being used and uh, for casting of concrete and all that now we have sub compaction concrete where compaction is not required Uh, this is uh, without compaction and then industrial panels are available or precast components are available which can be fitted for in place of walls then uh, for strength now we have a, a lot uh, many admixtures uh, which are mixed in concrete and uh, they provide early strength or we can use precast members therefore speed is uh, now achieved from the new and emerging construction technologies now let us talk first about the shuttering and monolithic construction the monolithic construction means when shuttering is placed for casting of walls beams and slab in one go and therefore uh, then there uh, after casting is done then the, then this uh, is monolithic casting and as such construction technologies are called monolithic construction technologies now uh, let us discuss monolithic construction technology nowadays available are jam form shuttering aluminum shuttering tunnel form shuttering and then uh, maybe plastic aluminum or pvc shuttering now a few people talk about stay in place shuttering also for monolithic construction but uh, i think we can discuss later on we will not include in this classification here we will include only jam form aluminum and tunnel form shuttering and then um, uh, now, now new material pvc is also available which can be used in place of aluminum or tunnel uh, aluminum shuttering uh, let us talk about the jam form shuttering uh, and then uh, uh aluminum shuttering the form work is made of aluminum extruded section and pvc or without pvc the, uh, it is uh, said that this has 3 4 days cycle and then lead time for uh, procurement of shuttering is about 3 months which is required for custom designed form work and therefore this 3 month these 3 months are to be used for some other activities and then economies of scale is there repetitions of about 1000 units or more are there if we talk about the tunnel form shuttering then this is made of steel and uh, to be erected by the cranes it can't be erected uh, manually like aluminum form shuttering form work then 24 hour cycle is uh, 
set for stripping of homework from previous day but then uh, this uh, means that positioning of form work then installation of mechanical electrical and plumbing services erection of reinforcements etc has been done earlier in the walls and slabs and then and thereafter concreting is done uh, let us talk in detail about jump forms work now generally jump form work systems comprise the form work and working platforms this acts for working platforms also for fixing the form work or cleaning etc steel fixing and concreting the form work supports itself on the concrete cast earlier so does not re rely on supports of axes from other parts of the building or permanent works like uh, scaffolding is also not required in this case and then uh, 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 jump form is suitable for construction of multi story vertical concrete elements in high rise structures such as shear walls core wall lift uh, shafts stair shafts and bridge pylons and then there are three types of jump forms which are in use now one is called normal jump or climbing form units are individually lifted up on the uh, lifted of the structure and then relocated at the next construction level using a crane crane is must here and this plays a crucial role then there are guided climbing jump form which also uses a crane but offers greater safety here and control during lifting as units remain anchored or guided by the structure uh, mostly now this self climbing jump form work is used and it does not require a crane as it climbs on rails up the building by means of hydraulic axles advantages are there that this results into faster construction that is speed is gained and this minimizes labor and has better productivity minimizes the use of scaffolding and temporary working platforms increases safety self climbing form over cuts the requirement for the crane as we have discussed the form work is supported independently so that shear walls as well as core walls may be completed before the rest of the structure of the main building this is uh, uh, important results into good quality surface finish monolithic construction leads to high seismic resistance this is applicable to all type of construction can sustain high wind force easy to clean the form work permits precise and quick adjustment of form work in the planes transporting materials at higher level is easy once core is cast and lift is installed that is main uh, benefit of this uh, jump form shuttering and uh, casting of core or lift well and then a uh, very small but highly skilled work process needed on the site advantage is that once uh, lift uh, <coughs> is installed or core wall is done then other uh, other uh, type of construction can be done as traditional construction that is rcc framework and all that because uh, we can lift the material and uh, workers can use the lift and once they are going up then it becomes easy and economic limitations are costly for low rise structures in case lifting is required it may have safety problems in, uh, because we have discussed three types of jump form, jump form other parts of the buildings are to be taken up with conventional methods that can be done and then let us talk aluminum form work this is uh, considered relatively new this form work is basically for monolithic construction for walls beams and slab cast one go uh we know that mybuns form work mybun shuttering was coming and this they were the first manufactured uh, uh, this aluminum form work in malaysia and this is suitable for repetitive units as such for mass housing hotels hostels etc this you can see in the aluminum form work aluminum shuttering uh and where numbering has been done so that it is easy to install them and this for the four walls slab and other members that can be done in one go uh this is the construction going on you can see and then you can see that this uh, top floor is, is <coughs> being cast and it doesn't require any support from the ground and then a case to study has been taken by mr singhal and what he has done is that he has uh, taken the rates from the schedule of rates and uh, for uh, uh, he has done the analysis for particular 
uh, work and this construction with uh, conventional form work is coming 46.72 lakhs while when the aluminium form work is being used this is about 44 lakhs so he has shown that uh, so something like 6 percent uh, uh, economic uh, uh, or aluminium form is economic but uh, more or less it can be considered that this is at par so aluminium form work if we use then this is not costlier than conventional RCC construction so he has also uh, done casting uh, cycle analysis and uh, day one two they did fixing of reinforcement of shear walls 2, 3 laying of electrical conduits, fixing junction and switch boxes which are required and 3, 4 fixing of formwork of wall, fixing five, day 5 fixing of formwork of slab and then uh, 6 laying of reinforcement of beam, 7, 8 laying of bottom layer reinforcement of roofs, <coughs> roof slab and 8 and 9 laying of electrical conduits and top reinforcement and then casting of complete structure, 10 day cycle but I think this can be reduced by 3-4 days easily and then this uh, cycle can be in there in 6 days or 7 days at the most. Uh, steps to be taken are setting up the walls uh, reinforcement as per the design, shuttering all is then applied and wall panels placed, placement of service ducts after the wall panels, installation of door window panels is done, installation of beam system, slab system is then placed. The tie panels are then installed, installation of staircase and wall panels and reinforcement slab and electrical juice and then concreting is done. Uh, advantages and limitation if we talk about the aluminum form work, the advantages are that placement of the form work does not require heavy machines or cranes and then uh, the form work can be handled by semi-skilled or unskilled labors. Speedy construction and repetitive units result into saving. Good quality construction, plaster may not be required, better seismic resistance of monolithic construction techniques, time saving as we have talked, increased durability, lesser number of joints, higher carpet area as the thickness of wall is normally uh, 100 uh, mm or 125 mm, uniform quality, less uh, manual labor, suitable for low rise to high rise structures. Limitations, post construction changes are not feasible because of RCC construction, RCC walls and the conduits and services are inside. So post construction changes are not feasible. Less insulation due to less wall thickness and RCC walls. Less acoustic properties side probably and though they are claimed that they have better acoustic properties. May not be economic in case of non repetitive units. Lead time as we have discussed is about 3 months. All the services are to be planned in advance and cannot be changed at a later stage. Difficult to nail or make holes in sear walls or it can uh, maybe that we damage it. Uh, if we do, repair and rehabilitation in coastal area of sear walls may be difficult in case of corrosion of reinforcement in multi-storied constructions, particularly after 20-30 years. Initially, initial cost of home work is high. Very limited architecture feature feasible. However, this can be used. Uh, and then we are to uh, we are to prefabricate the shuttering members or form work accordingly and then any side jet can be done here uh, limited response and then finishing lines seen on the concrete surface large number of form work component are to be handled here in case of aluminium form work higher repair cost for aluminium in case of damage and probability of theft of form work due to high cost of aluminium let us talk about the tunnel form work. Tunnel form is a form work in two inverted L-shaped units combinedly making a tunnel system that allows monolithic construction. So this in, uh, in two L's right side you can see the L and when joined it becomes uh, like a tunnel shown in the left side. So uh, top is vacant, sides are vacant where sides may be used for walls and top may be used for the slab. Now the limitation of this we will see that because it is casting is done in the tunnel form so all the walls, shear walls are to be done according to this box only. So the homework which is made of steel is said to be usable up to 500 times fitting to a variety of module size limited but they are limited therefore it is suitable for repetitive type of units. The construction is faster as the tunnel form work allows a 24 hour construction cycle to be achieved. 
uh, this if we see the steps placement of reinforcement of the walls first then placement of the tunnel form then uh, through by the crane then slab reinforcement electrical conduits are to be fitted then concreting walls and slab and then remove the form work this is like this you can see, you can see the steel and then you can see the tunnel uh, two l shape joined together and then uh, again i'll i'll tell that this uh, module you can see that they are standard they, they will have to be uh, in the line you can see this construction again in this box type of structures you can see here then this these are the limitations you can see on top uh, portion is niches are there shafts are there that is not feasible in this case of uh, construction so walls should be in one line and that is the limitation and the limitation of the size so this will be like the compartments or the boxes so that is the limitation main limitation and uh, you will see that some parts are, are to be uh, casted at side advantages are tunnel former is suitable and cost effective for repetitive units since the concrete finish is good no plaster is required the construction is fast uh, form work reduces the joints is suitable for high rise construction and repetitive units uh, form work can be repeated for large number of times said to be 500 times higher carpet area again as thickness of walls is lesser than the conventional construction limitations simple similar to aluminum form work but then it has more limitations as we have told i have told that uh, this module size is limited and then walls are to be in one line niches and sides are difficult not feasible services to be planned in advance basement cannot be constructed with this technique post construction changes are not feasible uh soft wall services from outside is not feasible otherwise to be done from the inner side very limited architectural features can be provided in such structures and then skilled workers required cranes are required and three sides and slab are cast in one go and generally front side the facade is the facade is left out for removal of form work and there then a traditional or conventional construction is to be done sunken slabs or sunken area are difficult to cast here you can see that uh, uh, blue are casted uh, from the tunnel form work and then red are to be done the, with conventional construction niches are not feasible uh, outside projections not feasible front side uh, then once uh, tunnel form work is uh, taken out then that can be done from traditional construction thanks for attending uh, this is for monolithic construction we will come out with uh, new and emerging technologies other technologies which are of different types in the next uh, talk thanks a lot